Hi, my name is Abdur Rahman from Maple Systems and I'll be going over the integer to float ladder instruction in this video tutorial. First, let's go over to an empty subroutine, hover over the conversion tab, now place the integer to float ladder instruction on the first rung. Now that we know where the instruction is located and what it looks like, let's go to screen number 9 and place the appropriate ladder logic subroutine on the right hand side of the screen. When the coil B900 turns on, or in other words, when we press the convert button, the int to float ladder instruction executes, and the integer value in register D910, which must have 4 bytes allocated to it, will be converted to a floating point value and stored in register D920, which also must have 4 bytes allocated to it. Floating point numbers follow the IEEE 754 standard. Let's determine how to properly display the precision of a floating point value. First, hover over the Show Data button and drag and drop a numeric display. Let's go into the properties of the numeric display and change the font from 5x7 to 10x14. Now click on the little Expand button next to the Format property. We have two sub-properties under Format, the Digit After Decimal Point and the Number of Digits. These options are pretty self-explanatory, so I'll just do a quick example. Let's say that we want to have a number in the thousands range, but we also want to have a decimal precision in the hundredths range. So let's enter a 2 in the digits after decimal point attribute, and a 6 in the number of digits attribute. Let's see if this is the result that we want, and it is. Now let's go over to an HMC and review this screen. So first, Let's input the number 52 for the integer register and press the convert button. The integer value is converted to a floating point value with the precisions in the hundredth range. Now let's enter 9999 and see what happens. Works as expected. And that concludes our video tutorial. For more information please contact Maple Systems or visit us online at maplesystems.com.